everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maggie and today is a really, really exciting video because I get to go book shopping. And I haven't gone book shopping in a really, really long time, usually because if I buy books, it's through Amazon or I usually check out books from my local library. And I'm super excited because this Barnes & Noble is like one of the biggest ones in our area. I have around two books in mind right now, but I know as I browse through the aisles, I'll probably pick up more. But most of the books that I wanna pick up today are going to be fantasy novels because I'm in a really big fantasy reading mood right now and yeah so I'm really excited to take you guys along with me and I'll film a book haul of the books I get later on in this video so I'll see you guys at the bookstore how could I ignore you trust me I adore you We're swimming through our dreams work for what you love to Sip and laugh with me Save me from myself Promise that you'll stay here You and I can lay here Until the end of time Girl, don't you worry about me It ain't new to me Hi guys, so I just got back from Barnes & Noble and I have a lot of new books to show you guys. Well, not a lot, I only got five, but right here is like a good $65. And also three of these books are also in a series, but still, I'm gonna show you guys the books that I got. And I am so excited to read all of these because they're all fantasy books. And if you didn't know, fantasy is my absolute favorite genre, but fantasy with like a subplot of romance is top tier for me. And recently I've been reading a lot of just standalone romances as well as mystery thrillers. And I think that kind of threw me in for a reading slump. So I really hope these books get me back in the reading mood. And the very first book that I'm gonna start with is Caraval by Stephanie Garber. And this book I'm really excited about. I know that there's some people who find it a little mediocre and there's other people who really loved it. I'll be honest, so the main reason why I'm reading Caraval is because I really, really want to read her other series, which is a spinoff of this book. And that one is Once Upon a Broken Heart and my friend read it and she absolutely loved it. And I do know that you can read Once Upon a Broken Heart without having read the Caraval series, but I just have this issue where I have to read the books like chronologically and read all of what she's published before she comes out with a new book. But that's also just my issue. Um, but anyway, I'm still really excited for this book because it's supposed to be a really whimsical world and it follows two sisters, Tella and Scarlet. Every year they have this carnival kind of event that is set by a guy named Legend. And this carnival event is very exclusive and only people who get invited get to go. And Scarlet, one of the main characters, really wants to go on this event. But the time when she gets that ticket or finally gets invited, she has to get married. Which is such bad timing for her, but I know that the sister, Tella, ends up sweeping her away from her father and actually gets her to this event without having to get married but once Scarlet gets to this event Tella actually gets kidnapped and she becomes kind of this like main component of the new Carval event and the person who first finds Tella is actually the winner of the Carval event for that year. I think this book mostly follows Scarlet and her journey trying to find her sister and I do believe that there is a subplot of romance in this book which makes me really want to read it as well. But yeah, the cover is so pretty and I really like the bag. It has this like admit one ticket that I thought was really cool. But most of all, I've heard really good things about this book so I'm really excited to pick it up and finally read it. So the second book that I picked up from Barnes & Noble is The Fifth Season by N.K. Jemisin and I'm really really excited for this book because I've heard such good reviews about it. Like I don't think I've heard anyone talk bad about it 
and this is actually the first book of the Broken Earth trilogy and I'll be honest I don't really know much about this book but I also really like to go into books like blindsided and not knowing much either. All I do know is that there are seasons in this world and every fifth season there's kind of a apocalyptic event that includes either natural disasters or diseases and we follow three point of views and I believe in the first point of view when the book first starts we follow a woman named Esson and she finds out that her son is murdered and so we kind of follow her point of view on how she is trying to find who the killer is and to finally avenge her son's death and I heard that the world building in this is really interesting too because there's a population that can actually control seismic activity and basically kind of control the entire setting of this book or the entire earth and I found that to be really cool because I've never read a book that kind of had that aspect to it But yeah, so that's kind of everything that I know about this book But I'm still really really excited because I heard that this was a good way to get into adult fantasy novels And I really want to start reading more adult fantasy. So yeah So the last three books that I got from Barnes & Noble is actually in a trilogy and it is the Poppy War trilogy with the Poppy War being the first book of the trilogy and I'm so excited to read this trilogy and that's why I bought all three books I don't know much about the Poppy War either besides the blurb on the back, but I did hear really really good things about it. All I know is that we follow this main female protagonist named Rin and she is an orphan and so that sets her back by a lot. And in this world there's like this really big empire wide exam where like if you do really well on it you can actually enter their most elite military school. And Rin ends up doing really well on that exam and so she's able to enter that academy. And after that I think that war breaks out and that's where she is really tested with her powers and her abilities because that's the only way to save her people. And I know this book has a lot of Asian political aspects to it Like I know it kind of draws inspiration from the Opium War and the Second Sino-Japanese War And I've overall heard Arif Kuang's writing is absolutely beautiful in this trilogy And she writes her characters and her storylines super super well And the other two books are The Dragon Republic and The Burning God And so this one's the second book and this one's the third book And overall I've heard that if you're looking for a really good adult epic fantasy series to read This one's it And the covers are just so beautiful like so artistic and so I'm just super super excited to start this series so those are all the books that I got from Barnes & Noble from today's trip and I'm so so excited to read all of them please let me know if you've read any of these books and whether or not you've enjoyed them I hope some part of this video inspires you to pick up a book or read a little bit more and thank you guys so much for watching that's it for today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one